Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the basic symmetry property of the DFT. Symmetry of the DFT. That is given the sequence X of N, which is both a periodic and discrete. It's DFT X of K. Assuming that both x of n and x of k are complex valued, that is both x of n and x of k are complex valued then we can write the uh, sequence x of n as a complex representation that is x or of n which represents the real parts and j times xi of n where xi of n is the imaginary component so let us call this equation one similarly for the dft sequence that is for x of k you can write it as x r of k that is the real parts and x i of k that is the imaginary parts now recall that the definition of x of k in terms of the sequence x of n is given by x of k is equal to the summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by capital N. So given this definition and the representation of x of n as x r of n plus x plus j times x i of n, we can plug in this value in this definition and we can write x of k as follows. That is x of k becomes summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x x r of x x r of n plus j times x i of n multiplied by e power minus j 2 pi k n by capital N. Let us call this equation 3. Now by comparing this equation 2 and this uh, representation of x of k uh, in this equation 3 we can write capital X r of k is equal to the sum n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x r of n multiplied by cos of 2 pi n k by capital N plus x i of n multiplied by sin of 2 pi n k by capital N. If you go back to the previous equations we can clearly see that x of r x we can clearly see that x r of n gets multiplied with the cos term of this exponential and x i of n gets multiplied with the sine term. So that means the real components are given by these products that is x r times cos and x i times sine. So that is what we have here. Similarly the imaginary component that is x i of k will be given by the multiplication of x r of n with the imaginary component that is sine function and x i of n with the real component that is cos function. So we have minus summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x r of n sine of 2 pi n k by capital N and minus of minus x i of n cos of 2 pi n k by capital N. That means x r of k that is the real component of the DFT is given by the linear combination of the real component of the uh, original sequence with the uh, imaginary component of the sequence weighted by the uh, cos and sine functions and then the imaginary component of x of k that is xi of k also has a similar definition that is xr uh, that is xr and xi are weighted by sine and cos respectively so let us call these equations 4 and 5 now again recall the idft that is x of n is equal to 1 by n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k that is capital x of k multiplied by e power j 2 pi k n by capital n so this is the definition of idft idft so again by using the decomposition of x of k or representation of x of k is a complex uh, number that is x r of k plus j times x i of k we can write this one as 1 by n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x r of k plus j times 
x i of k multiplied by e power j 2 pi n k by capital N. So now uh, from this definition we can clearly see that the real component x r of n that is the uh, real component of the IDFT is given by 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 capital X R k that is x r of k gets multiplied with the cost function 2 pi n k by capital N and then x i of k gets multiplied with the sine function and j into j is minus. So, we have minus x i of k sine of 2 pi n k by capital N. Similarly, we can write the definition of x i of n or the representation of x i of n in terms of x r and capital X r and capital X i as follows that is 1 by n summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x r of k sine of 2 pi n k by capital N and then plus x i of k cos of 2 pi n k by capital N. So, let us call these equations 6 and 7. So, equation 6 and equation 7. So, by looking at these equations 6 and 7 and equations 4 and 5, we can clearly see that there is a symmetry in the definitions of x r of k and x r of n. That means x r of k is defined by a linear combination of small x r of n and x i of n. That is the original uh, time domain sequences. A linear combination of x r of n and x i of n. And similarly, the inverse DFT x r of n, the real component is defined by a linear combination of the real components of the DFT sequence where the weights are similar. That means the original uh, DFT, the real component of the DFT is given by linear combinations where the first weight are given by the first weights are given by cos functions, the second weights are given by sine functions. Again, in the inverse DFT, x r of n, the real component, first weights are given by cos functions, the second weights are given by minus sine functions. So, there is a symmetry in the definition of both DFT and IDFT. Thanks for watching.